This is a Ford F-150 Lightning. This is a 13,000 pound fifth wheel trailer, and this is a 10,000 pound trailer. We're gonna be doing a bunch of tests here with the F-150 Lightning to push it to its limit. We're first going to use the fifth wheel trailer to basically press down on the Lightning's bed to fully max out the payload capacity to see just how much the truck can actually handle. And then we're going to tow the roughly 10,000 pound trailer with this Lightning to see if it can tow the trailer and how far it can actually go on a charge. Before we get into this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to Justin with JB Reviews for making this possible. He's the one who's providing the Lightning. He's also the one who's providing me trailers as well. He reviews pickup trucks, he reviews RVs, and he does a bunch of towing tests as well. And so if you're looking for any of that information, link to his channel in the description down below. Definitely check him out. Let's get into the video. So as part of this payload test, we're first going to, uh, I guess, look at suspension compression, or one of the things we'll be looking at is suspension compression. So we're going to measure with the uh, tape measure. I know it's not like the best thing ever, but you know, it'll, it'll work for today's video just to see like how much space there is before this is put down onto the truck and then how much space there is after. Showing you guys the suspension compression. So we're basically measuring from the top all the way down to the ground. You can see roughly just over 40 uh, inches. Well, I have been corrected. Justin has 40 and 3 fourths, so we're gonna go with his measurement rather than mine. Now the next thing to note is going to be the payload with the truck. You guys can see here on the sticker, 1,568 pounds for the payload capacity. Now I'm going to be sitting inside of the truck watching the payload. And while I happen to weigh a somewhat chunky 200-ish pounds, so we're going to say that the payload, or available payload rather, is going to be 1,368 because we're going to subtract 200 for my weight, obviously. And so we are going to then use, well, the onboard scales. Now I'm leaning into the truck to show you guys the onboard scale because notice where it shows where it's at right now. And then if I step in, it actually goes up a little bit. So it does take into account passenger payload as well as the payload on the bed. So obviously we're going to, uh, well, go up to the uh, red line. And so it'll be interesting to see this work in real time. Now, obviously we don't want to damage the truck. And so you guys can see we've got some uh, rags and some blocks here under the whole fifth wheel setup as we lower it down so that it helps distribute the weight. And obviously, so it doesn't damage the bed here of the lightning. So here's the Ben Hardy point of view. We're gonna be watching the onboard scale. You can see it inching up. Look at that. That's so cool to see that happen in real time as it's being learned. Yeah, no, it's, it's, there's a little bit of weight on. No way. Yeah, you can see it's like updated That's in real time. Awesome. We're gonna have another little increase here. It's like instant with it. Wow. We did, we just got a crack right there. It's just, the, it's just the block shifting. So we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we're going for the max now. Oh, there we go. It's red. Just, it just instantly went red. <laughs> that was cool. So here's what it looks like maxed out on the blocks. And then here's what it looks like maxed out with the rear suspension. Okay, so again, payload maxed out with the onboard scale, even like I'm not in the truck right now. So it still says it's maxed out without me being in the truck. So with the measurement 39 and a fourth down from 40 and three fourths. So it dropped down a little bit, but not a lot, which is kind of crazy because we've got almost, I mean, not quite, but like closer to 2000 pounds in the bed, right? In terms of weight. So I just did some quick math with you behind the scenes. <laughs> How much does the trailer weigh again? This trailer is about 13,000 in that ballpark, 13.6. Okay, 13,000. So when you lower a trailer like this onto a truck bed, what's the weight transfer roughly? I'd say about 20%. 20%, yeah, okay, and how far did you lower down the trailer? 75%. 75%, yeah. so quick math, 13,600 pounds, 20% transfer, 75% of the way down. That means we roughly have about 2,000 pounds in the bed of that F-150 Lightning, Whoa. roughly speaking. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's a lot. And I mean, it doesn't look like it's squatting, by the way, but if we were to drive off, it would it would drop down to the ground. <laughs> Yeah. Wheels, wheels might fall off. <laughs> wheels might fall off. I mean, you said this has a cool suspension too, so there you yeah, go. Yeah, it's, it's independent rear suspension. Yeah. So crazy that Ford went for that, but that's what you have to do with EVs. 
We need to talk about today's sponsor, Morgan and Morgan. Now, nobody wants to get into a car accident, an accident at their workplace, or you know, slip and fall in front of a business. But sometimes it just happens to be a part of life. And I can speak about this from a place of personal experience because when I was 17 years old, I got in a really bad car accident where my car got totaled out. And because I didn't know anything about insurance companies or getting help by a law firm, I basically got completely screwed in the situation where I got no money for my totaled car and I was left without a vehicle. Vehicle. And this is where Morgan & Morgan can help out. They are America's largest injury law firm with over 100 offices, over 800 lawyers, and over 4,000 case staff that are all ready to help you out. Now, I know at this point you might be thinking, Ben, that sounds really expensive, but here is the deal. All of the court hearings, the research, the negotiation, and more are free unless you win. And so if you're involved in some sort of personal accident, whether it be a slip and fall accident, an accident at your workplace, Place, or maybe a car accident similar to what I was involved in, then you might want to get help from Morgan and Morgan. And don't feel bad that you're going down the route of suing. I know a lot of people might feel guilty about this, but what you have to understand is you're not suing the person or the business. You're suing their insurance company that has billions upon billions of dollars. And so it's more about making sure that you get the compensation that you deserve. So again, if you're injured in an accident, then you can check out Morgan and Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy, or you can give them a call at pound 529, which is pound law. I think that's so cool that they got that number reserved. But again, www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy. Let's get back into the review. So we've got the lightning all set up and you guys can see 28 foot trailer, like I said, about 9,000 pounds. So we are currently in the enclosed trailer that we are going to be towing and well, you guys can see we got a Lexus in here, which I mean, Lexus, their luxury cars are pretty heavy. Um, so in total, I know that I said 10,000 pounds at the beginning of the video, it was a little bit of a fib. You said this weighs about 9,000 pounds car and trailer? Pretty much. Yeah, about 9,000 pounds, which I mean, that's right there at the max of what the F-150 Lightning can handle if uh, properly equipped. And so, I mean, we really will be pushing this truck to the limit. Okay, so a couple of things. This states that we have 202 miles of range and look at the odometer, 4,963.9 miles. Now, the next thing to note, I am not in the truck physically and it says the payload is already maxed out. Obviously, if I get in the truck, nothing's going to change, but this is supposed to have 1,568 pounds of payload. You know, with the transfer 10%, only 900 pounds should be on the payload from the trailer, but... Apparently, the trailer maxes things out. Now, this is the next thing that I want us to look at, and that is the state of charge of the battery. 73% is our current state of charge. So we're gonna see how many miles we can go before we deplete. Well, not all of it, because we obviously have to make it back, but probably a good amount. And to make things unfair, we're not going to use climate control. We're not gonna use the heated seats. Any, we're not gonna use anything. So we are going to give this truck the best possible chance when it comes to range. So we are setting off on our maiden voyage and I feel like today is a little bit unfair to the Lightning because, well, the first vehicle that I towed with Justin today was a GMC Sierra 3500 diesel and that thing's an absolute monster and, well, this is a half ton. It's an electric half ton at that. And so, yeah, it'll just be a completely different towing experience. Still have a super long trailer. I mean, again, 28 feet in length. And so it'll be interesting to see how this all performs. I will say I hate the fact this doesn't have the big trailer mirrors like the GMC has because going around that corner I couldn't see nearly as much so I had to like take it a lot slower to make sure I didn't clip the curb or anything with the trailer. What I will say though is being fully electric this thing like it moves like I I mean I barely have to get into it and it goes. Um, is this the long range or is this the uh, so it's the 320 so uh, this is the longer range version uh, it's a lariat and so this one's gonna have uh, 580 horsepower and then 770, I think it's like 775 for the torque, which I mean, that's great for towing. Uh, again, range as stated by uh, the EPA with this is 320 miles. It's obviously unloaded. And so we'll <laughs> see how the uh, range is loaded. I did take a, a picture of the odometer just in case I forget mid filming in terms of what it's at. But I just, I have a feeling we are not gonna get anywhere near that range. And again, you guys can see I'm not even going you know, crazy on the throttle. I will get on it a little bit um, here just to show you guys the acceleration with the Lightning because I think it's pretty crazy. I will say the Lightning's very comfortable unloaded. 
loaded though, it's it's rougher with the suspension. So it's like the opposite of what a diesel truck with leaf springs does. The diesel got more comfortable loaded up. This got less comfortable. This road right here is gonna take us up to 65 miles an hour. Now I wanna mention is before we got in the truck, before we added the trailer to the truck, it said that we had like over 200 miles of range with the state of charge we had. And now it says we have like 100 miles of range. And I've got this trip pulled up. So this shows since our start, how many miles we've gone and how much energy we're using is quite a bit. We're not even at speed. So getting up to speed is not a problem. But now that we are going the speed limit, I'm not sure like we're gonna be able to do that all the way if we if we want to get back in one piece. <laughs> As in, if you wanna get back without like losing all the battery, because we're losing state of charge at a pretty, pretty rapid pace so far. So with this loop, um, a big part of it is actually this pretty steep grade here. And I think that it's going to potentially show us the grade up here. No, I don't think it does. Regardless, I mean, what would you say this is like? This is probably a 5% grade. 5% sure. grade. Um, so this will just make everything even because we obviously went downhill coming in, but we're going uphill, uh, going back up. And 16 miles, we're down to 60% state of charge with the battery. It says we have 89 miles left. And um, just a second ago, it was showing one kilowatt hour per mile, but it's, it's back down to 0.9. Um, there's a little bit of wind too, which is kind of getting in the way. I will say though, the one thing is super impressive still, the stability is great and the power with this is great. Like it's so effortless. I'm not having to wait for even diesel engines that have so much torque, like you still have to wait for it to rev up this. It's just instant power and torque. And so like, again, from a performance standpoint, there's nothing that compares to this. Like no gas truck or diesel truck like holds a candle to this in terms of the acceleration and staying up to speed. The, the big thing though is the range. So this is gonna be kind of a zero to 60. So I, I got to roll a little bit here, but now we'll just punch it with the trailer. <laughs> it's getting there. So initially it's it's really good, but I mean, look, it's like I'm foot down. So not bad with a, again, 9,000 pound trailer, pretty much maxing it out. So I quickly did the odometer math and well, it matches up with our little trip math here. So 27.5 miles for our total trip. And then you guys can see with the usage right there and then you can see we have the range we have left. So, I mean, we were probably at about three fourths. And so we used up about one fourth uh, state of charge over the course of that 27 mile trip. And you can see here matches up with what I just showed. So 49% state of charge, 71 miles of range. But this is pretty cool. If you press this, it'll show us the scrap. Like I said, we didn't use the climate controls whatsoever, but you can see 87% driving, 2% accessories, 11% lost to outside temperature because it's, well, 39 degrees now outside. And so, like I said, in the cold, you lose quite a bit of range, but <laughs> towing, you lose a lot of range. Again, if we do the math from the start, we lost about 24% state of charge. So let's just, uh, you know, do the math thing and round up to 25%, one fourth, just to make math simple. So 27.5 miles with 25% charge lost means that on a full charge towing a 9,000 pound trailer, we would be able to get 110 miles of range with the temperature outside being 39 degrees. And so that means that the F-150 Lightning is not a cross country tower. It's not even a cross county tower. It's more like a cross neighborhood tower. So if you need to drop off something to your neighbor that happens to weigh 9,000 pounds, the F-150 Lightning has the stability. It's got the power to do it. But if you need to, you know, go down more than just the street, I suppose, then uh, it's probably not going to be able to do it.